YouTube, do you want to raise your KD here in Warzone and Rebirth Island? This is how. Let's check it out. All right, YouTube, let's hop into these settings, man. If you guys want to improve at this game, Rebirth Island and Warzone, make sure you have the settings that I am running right now. So display mode, you want to be full screen. And then obviously whatever settings you have for your uh, PC, that's what you want to run as well. So as you go down, you'll see brightness. I have it at 50. Um, enabled boost for NVIDIA reflex low latency. But that's pretty much it for that. Then you want to hop over to quality, which I have 120 FOV. Then my camera movement is least 50%. So make sure you change this. This is very crucial, okay? So make sure you do that. Then all my textures and details are basically on low. So you want to keep these on low because that makes you have better frames and it just feels more smooth in my opinion so streaming quality is low texture resolution is low texture filter is low particle quality low disabled impacts and sprays tessellation disabled gore effects disabled on demand texture streaming disabled like all of it's low it makes it have better frames the game runs more smooth and crisp um you can have these on if you prefer a more realistic approach i guess you can have these on if you would like but i just if you want to have better quality gameplay i prefer taking these off film strain zero film grain zero uh, dls disabled off for that f the field disabled as well motion blur off and weapon motion blur off as well make sure you both have you make sure you have them disabled for both of the uh motion blur you do not want that on i know a lot of people run it because it looks better in clips and stuff but if you want to be a better player make sure to have that disabled okay then low uh shadow map resolution no catch spot shadows disabled disabled everything disabled in that category okay then now we're going to get into the real stuff right here that you guys really want to know about and that is the controller okay if you're interested in my other uh you know settings just make sure you let me know in the comment section down below but anyway man let's hop into this really quick so we're going to go obviously we're on controller right now um controller and we're going to go stick and move Okay, that's how i play the game i run sick for layout preset as default and then i go in uh disabled for the uh invert vertical look we don't need to do that 0.5 um left uh dead zone right sick dead zone 0.5 okay dead zone 0.99 and then 0.99 i'll left those defaults okay i found a sensitivity at nine where i feel very comfortable i've went, any I've went anywhere between an eight and like a 12. Okay, 8 to 12, and I just think 9 is perfect for me. I think that is a great sensitivity, especially when you lower your ADS sensitivity multiplier. So make sure you lower this because when you're ADSing, it doesn't allow you to jump side to side as fast, especially when you're ADSing. So that is very crucial, especially in gunfights, because if you have it up higher, the more chance you, you start jumping around and you can't hit your enemy. So the lower you go, the more on track it is and more smooth it is back and forth when you're aiming down sight. So a lot of the pros have this super low. I know some people that have this like on 0.7. Uh, but then you can also run a higher sensitivity so you can look around faster but when you ads then it slows down so it's just a good balance that you can have by still looking like you're moving really quick and playing the game fast and having a good strong aim um, when you're fighting enemies so it's just perfect i think 0.95 works out perfect for me aim and this is another huge factor as well this aim response curve type and you want to have that on dynamic i had it on standard for the longest time but dynamic is by far you get more aim assist especially on controller in my opinion so make sure you run that controller vibration you want that off because that's just one more thing you have to worry about your controller shaking in your hand it's going to throw off your aim and all that good stuff i know some people like it but i've learned to play without it and it's by far one of the best decisions i made especially on controller you don't have to worry about it bouncing around everywhere so make sure you have that disabled as well so aim assist is standard um aim assist with fov is disabled okay all about my weapon mount you don't really know, need anything about that ads is hold i mean uh and all this stuff is just uh preference and up to you so my my reload and pickup behavior is contextual tap that is a, a thing especially in warzone and apply all for armor plates so i can hit it and it just applies all the plates until i cancel it yeah man let me know what you guys think about these i guess we can cover this really quick slide behavior is tap auto move forward disabled double tap tactical sprint i have auto attack sprint on so as soon as i push the left stick forward i take off running and i honestly didn't have that until a couple months ago i'm i was clueless uh, but yeah man that is all the stat or the settings that i have from the controller on here on pc and i have an 8kd with these stats here on rebirth island on switch gg uh, website so yeah it does work man um give it a go let me know what you guys think about the settings hope you guys enjoyed man smash that like hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace